Hello, turtle doves. A, a charming, brief, little entry in the cool amp diaries. I'm pretty sure that this one has never this one has never seen the light. Um this, this little amp peg. This little amp peg, amp pegs. Certainly, certainly, certainly friends of the channel. This is an Ampeg Rocket 2 from I'm not sure in the 1960s and um it is a one by 12 combo a I well I'm gonna <laughs> I think it's a 6v6 I think it's a 6v6 amp uh yeah it looks like it's 6v6 and 12 ax7s uh it's a one by 12 and uh and this amp is not trustworthy and uh and i trust nothing about it i don't trust anything inside it i don't trust like it i don't uh it is it is not to be trusted and that is perfect that's a perfect thing about this amp <clears throat> and i hope to show you why i think that is why I think that's a perfect thing. So it's a uh, uh, it's a Craigslist buy, and um, this is I've bought many I've bought many things in the and I've sold many things in the parking lot of a Sheets. And this is a pretty good one out of all the things that I've transacted at a Sheets. I won't tell you it's the best one I've ever bought out of Sheets, but it's a good one and I like it. Uh, you're probably more familiar with the phrase reverb rocket than you are just straight up rocket. Uh, there are reverb rockets in the 60s. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, there were uh, reverb rockets that were reissued uh, in the 90s or 2000s. Um, you are hearing, uh, pretty much just like always, we're straight in, and this is a 1984, uh, Gibson 335, uh, stock electronics. Which are Tim Shaw pickups. Um, and the original wiring harness, I'm pretty sure.
you know, uh, uh, it's an Alnico eminence from ish, from there ish, and uh, it's a. It's a cool amp, and the clean sounds cool, and it's rad. Uh, but we've not touched why this amp is like really fucking worth having. Um, and there's 1.5 reasons, two, two, three reasons why it is. volume tone, volume bass and treble all the way up. fucking noisy so one of the reasons why i don't trust it it's just like it feels like it's kind of being held together with scotch tape when you're in the room and uh it on, on the chassis there's all these like weird holes going on that probably aren't supposed to be there it's like it's like you know it's screwed in with like deck screws underneath there's sharpie markings all over the caps and different dates like it's a it looks like it's a fucking mess i've only i've never opened it up i just like it as it sits so much that i don't want to touch it and my my siblings in christ
why I'm never going to get rid of this amp is the tremolo. My god. It's just got one of the nicest tremolos I've ever did here. And so let, let's let you hear it. like I don't really want to learn anything about it so I've not went and gone to see what the front panel should say but on the depth control right here second from the far left uh, which controls the tremolo you have a pot where at the end of its rotation clicks and then you get this very hard chop like to me then this is equipped with afterbeat and afterbeat is uh um I'm not positive how it works, but it happens in the tremolo and it create on Ampegs and Ampeg called it afterbeat. And the, I did a video on my super duper rare Jupiter B24, B25X. Uh, it's a 2x12 combo and it's got afterbeat on it. And it does this, except this one sounds better than the one that I've got. Um, and it, and it kind of does such a hard shot, it really feels and plays a little bit more like a fun delay. Uh, 
it does something that um, a lot of tube driven, a lot of preamp tube driven tremolos can do is when it's up really high, the gain spike of like a hard hit on your guitar will overwhelm the tremolo um, and it will send so much signal through the preamp that all of it kind of comes out the speaker before the tremolo can sort of keep up and as the electricity sort of dies down from like the attack of your attack diminishes the tremolo can sort of keep up and so you've got what is like a kind of like a full uh, distortion attack within like tremolo close to the tail so <laughs> And these are pretty low, windy, and PAFE. This kind of can be tsunamied over the tr uh, over the tremolo, but now you're, you the chop is really remaining. Uh, a study break uh not a study break a writing break i am in <clears throat> folks folks i'm in the home fucking stretch here uh the home fucking school stretch I'm writing my last paper of law school and uh so i was just shaking my shilly silly shillies out shaking my shillies out so thanks for taking a look at that uh, somewhere in the 1960s in who knows what state of originality, Ampeg Rocket 2, Electric Boogaloo.